the church, the cult of Scientology, went so far as to say, you're in a custody battle, Leah. You may be losing your kids. We'll, we'll pay. We'll fund. We'll fund lawyers to fight for your custody if you involve Karen de la Carriere. They were soliciting false testimony. This is a 501c3 cult bribing someone whose button is her own children, bribing that they'd pay her legal battle in her custody as long as she would tell lies that I, who didn't even know she existed, set her up to do this infiltration and the photography. At one point, Leah lied and said that I had something to do with telling her to put flyers under doors or something. Anyway, she took it back and later she said, I made that up because I was under pressure. The church wanted me nailed. They kidnapped her. They held her hostage. Now, did they handcuff her to the wall? No. But they were blackmailing her for several days. And the blackmail was, you downloaded stuff which had credit cards. And we and you you may be a credit card thief. We'll have to call every single person whose credit card you took, and we'll have to tell them to file theft charges on you with their credit card. It's all hot air, bogus. The the lying cult of Scientology does dirty, dirty things because it has unclean hands. So they got her locked in this hotel, the Marriott Courtyard, for a week. And a couple of times she, they said, you realize, they did a sort of a soft kidnap, a soft hostage taking. They know how the internet resonates on it. So they were saying, you know, you can leave if you want. And so she got up to leave and they said, come back here. We will turn you into LAPD as a thief. So completely, utterly under blackmail, threat. She was held hostage and they wanted her lies so much that they said they would finance her child custody battle if only she would bear false testimony and witness to me. Leah finally threatened that she would just kill herself after seven days of this and they made her sign all kinds of documents. Now, here's the thing. If she had done something illegal per the laws of the land. Why didn't they press charges? Why didn't they go to LAPD? They call LAPD off the hook if a few people demonstrate on Sunset Boulevard. They claim terrorists are there. And they won't call LAPD on this infiltration of what the church felt was stealing. They've never charged her. They never pressed charges. But they sent me, because they'd already thought, ah, oh, we'll get Karen de la Carriere. This is the threat letter I got from the donkey they employ called Gary Soda. This is Gary Soda's LinkedIn page. Gary Soda works only for the Church of Scientology. And what he seems to do morning, noon, and night is send out threat letters. That's, as far as we know, that's all he does. He sends out threat letters. He's a David Miscavige bitch. He takes cult blood money to write threatening letters. He writes threat letters to media, threat letters to... <laughs> Critics, toothless, worthless, hogwash, bogus, hot air, fantasy, lies. 
those words truly apply to the cult of Scientology. So here's the threat letter I get. Co-conspirator! This is a woman I've never even met, never spoken to, never had a word, never, never even connected with. And because they bribed her and told her, we'd pay, we'll pay for you to get your kids back if you incriminate Karen de la Carey. This is a 501c3 church seeking false testimony and then writing a bogus threat letter to intimidate me. YouTube send me a notification that they've taken down nine videos of mine. And they say, we have been informed that there is copyright violation and blah, blah, blah. Now, the church know perfectly well the law of failures. They tried this with Gawker in 2008 and they lost. YouTube are not lawyers and they're not courts and <laughs> the cult of Scientology said copyright violation and we said no fair use so YouTube said well my lawyer interpreted what YouTube YouTube gave the church 10 days to sue me first of all YouTube said well are you willing to go to court on this and we said absolutely we'll go to court on this Gave them my mailing address for service. And YouTube wrote and said, sue her. If you're so sure this is copyright, sue her. But if you don't, in 10 days, all her videos go back up and all these copyright strikes get removed. Alexander Jensch, my only child, died at 27 years old. He had served in the C organization of the church for 16 years. And he died of methadone and pneumonia. Methadone and a cocktail of other drugs. And he had had three purification rundowns in mm -hmm. the church. I mean, he, <laughs> the church is anti-drug. Uh, he grew up in a culture where you don't take drugs. And there he was, lying in the Los Angeles morgue at 27 years old. And the Church of Scientology chose not to inform me that he was dead. I served the church for 35 years. I gave money to the church. I slave labored for the church. I did my $10 a week, no days off no annual leave. I worked for that church. And when my son died, they did not have the decency to call, pick me up, call up the phone and tell me, your son is lying in Los Angeles morgue. I'm in litigation on a real estate for, uh, trust deed. 
It's boring. It's a trust deed where usury, 14.5 interest rate, that, that's the main thing. There is usury. Here's the common ground between Leah and my lawsuit. They told opposing counsel they would take over the lawsuit. And from their 501c3 status, pay lawyers to take over the case against me. This is a church taking all the benefits of First Amendment while they seek to have someone lie. Why? Because Hubbard said, find or manufacture evidence against a critic. Manufacture, what does that mean? Make it up, manufacture it, dream it up. Whether you're lying, misleading, using deceit, using dishonesty, under the table, shady. This is not, they scream in the courts, they're ecclesiastical. They are dirty and they're using Hubbard's words, find or manufacture evidence against a given time.